Hey everyone, we are back again today to be making the next soap in our fall release that is going to be on September 25th. So this soap is going to be our sorting hat soap. So a little bit about this soap is in the middle of each bar there will be a color and I have these colors pre-made right here. It's like a mini bar of soap that will be put randomly in the middle of each bar and then as you use the soap you get to find out what your wizard house is. So this was an idea that I thought of after seeing like the bath bombs, like the sorting hat bath bombs where you can find out your wizard house by using it. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to make it into soap because I haven't seen that done before. So yeah, today we are going to be making that. So if you want to see how we make the sorting hat soap, please keep watching. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below, um, turn on the notification bell if you want to get notified every time we post a video. We try to post one at least once a week and leave a comment if you have any questions. I be sure to answer all of your questions. All right, let's get started. <laughs> In this bucket, I have all of my oils. I'm gonna make it, be making two loaves of this soap. I really hope I have enough soap batter. So I kind of guessed of how much I'm going to need based on the size of the embeds that are going in the soap. But because I need a little bit more time with this soap, I did not do the heat transfer method. I actually am using my oils and my lye water at room temp, um, just to try to have a little more time because as I change my soap recipe, I just changed palm oil to shea butter, my uh, soap batter starts to firm up a little faster. But yeah, I have my oils in here. I also have kaolin clay and coconut milk and a little bit of sodium lactate. So I am going to be putting my lye solution into my oils. I like to blend on low. A lot of people blend on high, but I get a lot of air bubbles when I blend on low. So now I'm gonna stick blend this all together. Now on a very light tree, it's just past emulsion. I do have kaolin clay in here too. I don't remember if I said that. I think I did actually. All right, so I'm just gonna give this another light mix. Then I'm actually gonna be dividing this out. Um, I'm gonna have four accent colors and they're gonna be the four house colors. So I have four containers. It's just gonna be a little accent color, nothing too much. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. And this is just black oxide. Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize I was out of frame. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this together. And I'm going to quickly do my accent colors. So this is Klein Blue, Green Vibrance, Trial by Fire, and Yellow Vibrance Mica, all from Nurture Soap. That's also where I got my black oxide too. All right, so I'm going to give these a quick stir. So first I'm going to be pouring a very thin layer. Well, no, I'll actually pour about half of the batter into the loaf mold. And I need it to set up enough so my embeds will stay in place. I think that's probably the most difficult part of making the soap um, just because those have to be exactly in the middle 
but this is actually thickening it up perfectly, so I think we will be fine. All right, so I am going to be pouring these right in there, and I'll scrape out the container. So here are my molds, and I am going to start pouring. I think I made a little bit too much of the accent colors, but it's okay. Totally fine. I think that this is not ready to yeah so we're going to wait for that to set up a bit hopefully it won't take too long two hours later right, i actually decided i'm going to pour a little bit more in here just because this is setting up really fast and i am putting a frosting on the top so actually i think i'm just going to pour all in here because it's going to muddying up quite a bit. Like I said, I wasn't quite sure if this was even going to be enough. Um, but I have markings on the side of this, so I need to turn it this way so I can see where I'm placing these so they end up being in the exact middle. It's been about five minutes. I whipped up another tiny batch quick. So I am going to stick with this. And I'm just gonna split this off into some accent colors. Right. And then this main batch right here is going to be the scented part because the scent I'm using is Christmas Cabernet. It doesn't remind me of a Christmas scent really, but it does smell exactly like wine. So um, that one just colors a lot, so I'm not going to put it into the four accent colors. I'm just going to put it into the black right here. So Christmas Cabernet from Nature's Garden accelerates big time, big time. All right, so I have the black in there, blue. Pour a little bit more fragrance oil in here. There we go. I actually want this one to be rather um, liquidy so it can go around the soap embeds easily. So I'm actually gonna spray this with alcohol just so it will adhere better. And then I'm actually gonna drop swirl the rest of the colors in.
doesn't always go right when you're making soap, but we are able to fix it. Hopefully this looks good on the inside. Move on to making our soap frosting. All right, I'm just gonna get these a little bit. And we are good. We are back on track. I try to stay as clean as I possibly can while making this and it just always ends up being a disaster. Messy. All right, so let's make the soap frosting. All right, so we have all of our oils and our lyes in here for our soap frosting and I'm just going to stick on this for a while until it starts to thicken up. trace right now so those leftover colors that I had used for the last batch I'm just going to pour a little bit of this batter into these cups just to slightly color them I'm gonna keep the frosting white except for these accent colors as you can see it thickens up very fast and a piping tip and then we will start piping. All right, so the frosting is now firm enough. So I'm going to fill the piping bag and I don't really know how I'm gonna do this yet, but I think I'm going to try to put the colors along the outside of the piping bag and then put the white in. I have really small piping bags. Right. So without mixing the colors too much, I'm gonna try to like plop the white on top of them. Just do that. Alright. I'm just gonna do the three, two, one method. I'm going to mark the soap where I'm supposed to cut before I take it out of the mold just to make sure that I don't hit those embeds in the center. I didn't scent this frosting. I usually don't scent the frosting. I think I might try to start sometimes, but I didn't scent it because it does discolor. I don't really have anything similar that doesn't discolor. for the best part and that is the embeds. Just like last year, this year I made these little sorting hats and these lightning bolts to go on the side. So again, I have to line these up 
very carefully because these embeds are rather large. I don't want them to get cut off. it because these pretty much line up perfectly so as long as I cut where the sorting hints are I think it will be good. is the final results and we will be back for the cut All right, so it is the next day it's about 18 hours later after I made the soap and it is hard enough to cut so I cut one loaf already as you can see over here and let's get started with I'm waiting, trying to be patient You look like a painting It's so frustrating, I hate it, yeah I probably shouldn't say this I probably should erase it I probably shouldn't say this Here's the sorting hats Here's the lightning bolts And here's the inside And then we do have the small bar of soap on the inside that determines the house, the wizard house that you're put into. And it didn't pop through at all, which is really good. sorting hat soap and I am going to this bar is going to be for me so I'm gonna cut this one open to show you that one of these wizard house colors are going to be on the inside so I could either be Slytherin Ravenclaw Gryffindor or Hufflepuff all right so let's see which wizard house I belong in all right so I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle you look like a pain and you don't have to cut yours down the middle um, just as you use it your house will be found all right let's see what house I am and I am Gryffindor all right thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit the thumbs up subscribe down below hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we upload a video we're gonna put almost our entire fall collection release on YouTube. Thanks for watching everyone.